All right, so I'm currently on the phone with Marley. She's another musician that reached out about the current interview series. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her the chance to introduce herself. Hi everyone, my name is Marley. Um, I'm a musician from the Chicago suburbs, currently a musician in downtown Chicago. I was trained in classical piano to start and then got into singing and did that all through uh, high school and college and just recently took the leap to be a full-time musician and um, really excited to, to be here. So thank you for having me. Very cool. Uh, thanks for taking the time. Um, all right. So why don't you tell me about how you first got involved in music? When did you first encounter music and, you know, develop a passion for it? Sure. So uh, actually, my mom is still currently a, a piano teacher and she has been for going on um, like 40, 41 years. So my first interaction with music, with music was really from her um and you know she taught at a school and at home so as a baby I listened to her play piano the students play piano and that was really my first encounter with it uh okay. that I can remember I'm sure as a child she was, I know she's told me out she was definitely one of those moms that you know played Mozart and Beethoven and and, and all that stuff. So my first real interaction with music was classical piano. And she started teaching me uh, right after my third birthday. Um, and I, I really, I really loved it. Partially, I think it's because I saw so many people come into our house and learn it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they got time with my mom. So I wanted that too. And then actually at my, uh, ballet school uh they had singing a singing class there and um uh, i started taking singing lessons and i really loved that i always loved attention and 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 i was a dancer and putting on shows for people so singing and and musical theater was really the first thing that i felt super attached to okay and and um throughout all of my like primary education so all the way until I graduated college I, I studied classical piano and I, I I still do love it it's definitely a different kind of you know regiment because you're there it's it, it's not as creative it's it's very strict and structured and it's a lot of it's about perfection so Singing and, and songwriting as I grew into it was this other outlet of music that had another side to it that mm -hmm. was being able to be creative, which I consider myself to be a really creative person and one of my strengths. And, um, you know, experiment a bit, experiment with music a bit more in that realm versus classical. Okay, well, let's take a step back. Um, so you mentioned, uh, you know, you kind of wanted to follow in the footsteps of your mother and learn piano. Mm -hmm. Um, how long do you think it took you to kind of realize that you had your own individual passion for it rather than just kind of wanting to, you know, emulate what was in front of you? Oh, I, I do think that it was pretty quick, you know, pretty early on. Um, kind of like I said, it, it, in the loving to perform, mm -hmm. um, that was a, a, a great sense of happiness that I got out of learning piano and the ability to to learn a song, play it myself, and then perform it and and really perform it well with piano. As I not to be redundant, but as I had mentioned, a lot of it really is about you know perfection and and playing the notes right. And sure. so in in a positive way, because I know today's society striving for perfection is not always a, a positive thing but it was it was always something to work towards and um something that I really enjoyed working at as a craft but then just overall in in music in a musical sense um just learning these other 
pieces of music that I'd heard, I would, I would say, you know, amazing pieces of music, but I don't think I realized that at this point in time that I'm talking about, but just learning music and, and participating in music that people knew and loved to hear. And I think that really created a sense of like worth work ethic for me um, because I, I, I saw the, the costs and I, and I got the reward and I, and I love those re- that reward of being able to share that with people. I mean, back when, when at the age I'm talking about, I'm probably, you know, six years old. So it's mostly just my family or my neighbors, but sure, sure. I, as I didn't mention before, like, my mom's a piano teacher and also my grandma um, was as well. So having people to share that with who also really enjoyed it, created that love for it. You mentioned that uh, you you spent uh, most of your school time uh, learning classical piano, becoming classically trained. Did you also participate like in the competitive circuits, like uh, recitals and things like that? Yes. Yeah, so uh, for many years, I, com- I competed in um, piano competitions. I'm from, as I mentioned, the Chicago suburbs, excuse me. And I competed in the Libertyville piano competition every year. And then every, um, spring, um, we would have a recital that being my mom's students. As I Mm -hmm. said, she had, as I said, she had both at home students and students at the music Institute of Chicago. So the, you know, when you're younger, you usually complete a couple of songs throughout the year. And then after that first semester, you come back in January and you usually start working on recital songs then. But as you get older, you usually, I started working on more extensive pieces. And, and you, you, you never just played one at the recital unless it was, you know, like a Rhapsody in Blue or a concerto. So, um, always, it was kind of went along with the school year that when you started a new school year, you started thinking about what piano pieces you really wanted to work on for that year, you know, as you, as you got older. And then in terms of singing, I would, like I did the singing class and then I started doing more shows. So I participated in, uh, my ballet school's Nutcracker, both as the ballerina, but as the carolers would mm-hmm. come in and sing. And that was my first experience singing on stage. But I continued doing that at the school. I did other extracurricular performances, started taking voice lessons in middle school. Um, I, I, I always was a super busy Kid. So I did, I did a ton of activities. I love sports. I played softball and volleyball. I had ballet and, and piano and, and all that stuff. So then by the time I got to high school. From there, you know, once you kind of uh, went through the whole competitive circuit and recitals and everything, um, at some point, did you decide that you wanted to start creating your own music and doing your own singing? Yeah. So I, it's sort of funny now that I think about it. Piano and singing for the really the longest time were very separate um, because I had piano, you know, with my mom, which was very strict and, and I practiced for two hours a day. And then singing was more of this fun free thing that I either did through this class or as I got to high school, that was my big activity. I did show choir, which uh, for those of you that don't know, many people compare it to Glee, but not really like Glee, but mm-hmm. it kind of is. But you basically, it's very showy and glamorous and you learn a set of five songs. So the sets are usually 30 minutes and you dance to all of them and it's a whole show and it's competitions everywhere. It's really, really big in the Midwest. I don't know about others, sure. but... I did an all girls group and then the mixed group in high school, in addition to the like ensemble choir, classical choir, uh, whatever you call it. Mm. So I guess piano was very much when I got home and, and done with all of that other stuff. Cause again, I had, I have a very unique experience in being taught by my mom all the way until I went to college. It doesn't, 
happen very often. Mm -hmm. Um, And always really had my teacher there. And then singing was this other concept. So I got into songwriting. I I definitely did in middle school. I mean, Mm -hmm. it was, I don't know, whatever the problems of a middle schooler was that I was writing about. But probably really started to experiment with it in high school and then I think developed the skill into writing songs that I or being able to write songs that I record and perform now in college. I mean and I'm sure a lot of that just has to do with age. Um and having more life experiences. But I get to answer your question more directly when did I start realizing that I kind of wanted to do singing in my own thing? Um, I think it's, for me, it just happened to come with that time of age of high school and dealing with all of those things and having a bit more individuality and also just through all of my singing groups, getting better at singing too, just, getting better at the instrument sure so do you kind of have a trajectory in mind for you know where you want to see your career uh whether it be you know doing uh competitive piano or writing your own music in like the course of five or ten years yeah so funnily enough i actually really since i'm coming up on four years of graduating college and i really have not done a ton of classical piano since then i think Definitely for that first year, I needed uh, a break Um, just because like all of the reasons I said it was just really strict and I just wanted a break from it. Now it's really just something that I do on my own to to keep up the skill and and just have have that on the sidelines. Uh, In a totally ideal world, I would love to be widely recognized and performing uh widely recognized for my music and performing it I, it's gonna sound cliche but like be a quote-unquote like pop star like i would love to tour and that be my full-time thing touring recording writing um i mean collaborating meeting with other people uh so in that time and if we if you want to ask i think we'll get to this but i really have just been doing music full-time for four months um i had a full-time corporate career before this so five to ten years would be i mean in the next year would definitely be releasing an album or at least an ep um, I, I play around, I have some gigs around Chicago, so just upping those, getting some places, you know, elsewhere and just overall getting more followers and, and recognition and learning more for my music so I can keep doing this and, and sharing it. On the point of recognition, uh, where can people find you and check out the stuff that you are putting out there? Absolutely. So I actually do not have anything professionally recorded put out yet on Spotify. I'm hoping to do so by the end of the month. Um, but otherwise, everything is just under my name. Instagram, TikTok, SoundCloud, YouTube um, is either Marley Volfi or Music Marley. And that's M-A-R-L-I. Um, that's where to follow everything. I post a lot of information, especially on my Instagram, about news and releases and things like that so that's a great place to start but a lot of music specifically covers and some originals um are also available um so that's the place to find me as of now i assume uh once you are putting out recorded stuff that that will also be available there yeah so spotify sound uh, soundcloud apple music at least in the next two months should all be there um took me some time to get some new equipment and figure out some of the systems. So hoping to really start pushing that. And so I always like to give the person I'm interviewing the opportunity to put out their last word. So just a message you want to throw out there that you resonate with that you want to put out. Sure. Uh, 
I think the biggest thing would be to not be afraid to try and do music in any shape or form, whether that's trying out for the school musical or the choir or trying to do it for a job. It's obviously a bit less conventional and it's different, but if you you love to do it and it what and it's what makes you happy, then that's really all that matters. And there's a lot more resources out there than you think. Um, just reach out to people. I would say the music world is really welcoming and encouraging. And um, if anyone's out there that has any questions, I'd be happy to answer any of them or, or talk to anyone. Um, so yeah, just don't be afraid to try it. It's a really wonderful thing to be a part of.